local forecast with meteorologist Jackson Chastain starts now. We're getting so close to the sun rising. This is a live look from Gettysburg from the blue and gray grill. Uh, very nice uh, morning outside, very crisp. Uh, you might want to bring a jacket outside. Some of these temperatures, upper 40s on, uh, on, on Monday morning. This is in June, by the way, so very, very cool temperatures. Not a lot of clouds, though. That's going to change as we get later into the afternoon today. But as for the rest of your morning, should be a pretty good one. Warming up to the mid-60s by the time you get to that 8 a.m. hour, more sunlight. That's going to help get that warm, those warming temperatures up there. We get all the way up to maybe close to 80. I wouldn't be surprised if maybe a few of us actually break 80, but lots of sunshine on tap uh, later in the day. It's going to actually increase in that cloud cover as you get further into your afternoon. And then once you get into the evening, things are actually going to start to clear out again. That'll help us drop those temperatures all the way back to the low 50s. So just as we start with uh, crisp and cool temperatures, we're going to end with crisp and cool temperatures. And you get into the rest of this week, there's not a whole lot of change coming up. Lots of lows in the 50s, lots of highs in the upper 70s, maybe low 80s. So uh, for, for most of this week, it's going to be pretty much status quo. We do have a chance for a few showers coming up on Tuesday, and I'll touch on that in a second. But I think the big thing that people are going to focus on is a chance for rain. That's going to be at the end of the week, and these are early indications, so things can change, but uh, things relatively favorable outlook uh, in initial model runs that we've seen. And of course, those will change uh, right now, though, very mild across much of the Northeast. And, and it, that's not that's that's sticking with us because there's nothing in the upper levels that can change that. And that's why once you get to that Sunday, you do actually start to see some change because you see right here this upper level, what we call a trough. And then you can see this uh, maximization, these uh, these stronger winds. But when you see them over parts of uh, Pennsylvania in the Northeast, that's actually going to help us with uh, a potential chance for some rain in the area. And that'll be good for us because we only got about, I think it was a, a little bit more than a tenth of an inch of rain on, on, uh, on Saturday. And that was with a severe thunderstorm in Harrisburg. So even with these heavier downpours, you're still not getting much. You need continuous rain. And, and that's why when we get into our Sunday, this is a live look at Tuesday and you can kind of see, uh, you know, what, we're, what I'm talking about when I say scattered showers, there is a limited rain chance there, but I would not be surprised if many of us just don't get rain. This is the one to watch where you see basically widespread coverage across much of the state and then it moves out of the region. But overall for this week, just enjoy it for what it is. I know rain and, and drought it are not hot topics, but we do have a very nice stretch of weather going into the, sec the first week of June uh, of just, uh, just very beautiful conditions uh, really for a stretch of probably you know four, five, six days here and then you have that rain chance Sunday. But overall, guys, I would say just just take it and, and enjoy it and uh, get some yard work done or something. I don't know. <laughs> a lot of people don't have much yard work. That that's grass is that's not a good growing, point. Yeah, I, I, I understand. And I love those temperatures, Jackson. Absolutely. All right. Thank you.